Hello, this is Martin Yam from CA Technologies, and I'd like to talk to you today about how to prevent security breaches with passwords that cannot be stolen. This comment is from an article that was in Time Magazine this month. The internet is a battlefield. The prize is your information. Every day we see in the news that another breach has occurred. The number of attacks is increasing, the number of successful attacks is increasing, and identities of millions of users are exposed to fraud and other bad actions. It's been a good year for cyber criminals. In the first half of 2014, we've seen 368 major data breaches exposing more than 10 million records, not to mention Heartbleed, an error in the security software used by most of the web dubbed the biggest flaw in internet history. It left millions of people's passwords and personal information exposed. This chart shows how the number of security breaches is rising. Hacking is the main cause of security breaches. The process of hacking refers to someone breaking into a computer or network, usually by exploiting an existing flaw. Often this will include the hacker obtaining your personal information or turning your computer into a zombie to further their needs. It's the main cause of security breaches. Malware or malicious software is designed to secretly access your computer or server and compromise its main functions, steal data, bypass access controls, or otherwise harm your computer. It's the second main cause of security breaches. According to a Poneman study on the cost of a data breach, U.S. organizations experienced the highest total average cost at more than $5.4 million for each data breach. Part of the reason for this is, according to the study, the United States companies had data breaches that resulted in the greatest number of exposed and compromised records. A senior U.S government administration official recently said that you're going to have to work under the assumption that some of the time the bad guys are going to get in. The challenge here is to minimize that window of opportunity for them. One problem is with the passwords. Passwords are created by people and used by us to identify ourselves to multiple applications from our online banking accounts to shopping sites. If you've ever received a temporary password generated by a computer, you can understand why they're hard to remember. We typically choose combinations of characters and numbers that we can remember easily. Fraud is a big business. Once a fraudster gets a hold of your password, the world is open to them posing as you. Once they have your online identity, they can impersonate your customers, spend their money, and once detected, force you to tell them to change their password. You have technology in place to make this hard, but it can be defeated by smart fraudsters. This can significantly hurt your image and your brand. I'm sure that you've heard this story before. The bad guys rob banks because that's where the money is. But if they opened the vault or the tellers had no money, they'd go elsewhere. In the internet world, if there are no passwords to steal, the bad guys will move on to other targets of interest. The solution that CA has for this problem removes the target from the attack. It does this while keeping the user experience the same as it is today. The user experience remains the same, but the threat is eliminated. The passwords are not stored anywhere, but your portal continues to work as before. The technology that we use here is patented and uses digital certificate PKI technology that all experts will agree is very strong. We have made it easy to implement, manage, and to maintain the expected user experience. Our solution is designed to make username password systems stronger. No password file exists for fraudsters to attack or steal. The user's password never leaves their device, so man-in-the-middle attacks are not successful. The credential is stored on the server, protected by our patent, but the password is not. If a fraudster were able to get a hold of the credential, they would not be able to use it, since the password is only known by the owner of the credential. If this sounds confusing, let me explain. We use credentials called CA Auth ID, also known as CA Archive ID PKI. The patent that we have allows us to protect private key information like the private key of a digital certificate pair. In order to authenticate, 
a message from the server must be signed correctly by the user on their client device. This happens across the network, silently, without any user interaction other than their entry of their password. Here's a picture of how that actual flow works during the login process. We don't need to dig into every step, but there is a strong PKI challenge response dialogue that happens between the authentication server and the user once he or she enters their password. Remember, the password is not stored anywhere. It's known only to the owner of the credential. And don't worry, there's self-service methods to help the user if they forget their password or want to change it. The advantages of this solution are great. Time to market, customer convenience and experience, compatibility with other risk-based solutions, and this solution works across all devices, mobile, tablet, or PC class machines. Remember one of my initial slides that stated the average cost to an enterprise of a password breach. You should think about what it's worth to protect your enterprise against this type of growing attack. The worst thing that can happen is to see your company name up in lights. You want to be known as the best in your business and the most famous for great products, customer service, and customer experience, not as the next enterprise that has to dig out from a password breach. You can provide this safety to your customers and your brand with lower help desk calls, higher customer satisfaction, and increased customer confidence in your brand. In conclusion, our solution is simple integrates well and can eliminate your enterprise from the fraudsters list of companies vulnerable to attack. Thanks very much for listening today. Please visit us at www.ca.com forward slash advanced authentication.